Hey there, I'm Tina Cisla, and I have a small herd of Nigerian dwarf dairy goats. And today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY all natural recipe of utter butter. So stay tuned. Right here, I have a pot with a little bit of water in it. It's set on about three on the stove. And I have the bowl that you use for uh, like a, a double boiler type method inside. And into this, we are going to add one third of a cup of coconut oil, one third of a cup of mango butter. You can use shea butter if you'd rather. I've got two tablespoons of beeswax pellets. These are organic white beeswax pellets. And I have two tablespoons of a good quality grapeseed oil. You can also use olive oil. As you can see, I've already added those ingredients to the double boiler, and it's just gonna take a few minutes for that to melt. The last thing to melt is going to be the beeswax pellets, and of course, the first thing to melt is going to be the coconut oil. You can see it's melting together really nicely. Once everything is melted, we will add essential oils to the mix. That's melting. I'm going to take the time to show you a couple of the resource books that I go to when I'm trying to decide which essential oils to use for my animals. So this is from a website, discoverlsp.com, Life Science Publishers. This is the all-new essential oil desk reference. It's quite a big book. You can see it's very heavy, full of great information about young living essential oils. Um, this book was the first book I bought when I was learning how to care for our goats. This is the Accessible Pet Equine and Livestock Herbal Guide. You can find this guy on Amazon. It's a great resource as well. So this is pretty important. Anytime you hear me using an essential oil in a recommendation or in a recipe, a DIY, whatever it is, it's always and only going to be Young Living brand essential oils. Those are the oils that I got started with about five years ago. They are the brand that I trust. I've been to the farms. I've been to the distillation process. I know that there's nothing else in these oils except for the plant juice itself. So let's take a look at some of the oils that I found in these essential oil desk reference in this, um, this book on what oils are great for utter health and for lactation. Take a look. Okay, the first oil we're going to add to this utter butter is frankincense, and we're going to use 10 drops of frankincense. We're then going to use oregano. I'm going to use 7 drops of oregano. Then we're going to use 7 drops of copaiba, 7 drops of lavender, and 7 drops of melrose. Now, the base is already melted. You can see that the Beeswax is completely melted, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off of the stove and set it over here to add the essential oils. A little bit about what the inside of the pot looks like. When you take off the double boiler, make sure you're very careful as this can be hot and steam will also be coming up from that inside pot of water. So just be very careful. Okay, so now we're going to add the oils. We're going to get 10 drops of frankincense. If a couple of extra sneak in there, that's okay. Seven drops of oregano. This one's almost empty. Seven. And then the copaiba. Seven drops. Lavender. Got an eighth one in here, and then Melrose, seven drops. So just so you know, these 15 milliliter bottles have between 250 and 300 drops. So you can tell seven drops of each of these and then 10 drops of frankincense is barely using any of the stock. So I'm just stirring those in there. And then I am going to set this in the refrigerator just until it is set because the next step is we're going to whip it with a mixer to make it really creamy like the first sample I showed you. 
Okay, here we go. So this is the hardened out of the refrigerator version. And I'm just gonna kind of go through here with a spoon and break this up so when you get ready to whip it with the hand mixer. Okay, I'm gonna take the spatula here and scrape down the sides. If your room is really warm, then you may wanna put it back into the fridge and harden it up a little bit more. And you definitely wanna keep this at room temperature because as you can tell, when it comes out of a cold refrigerator, it's really solid. And if it's around a very warm atmosphere, it might get too runny for you. Okay, this is perfect. This is the consistency we're looking for, kind of a whipped butter consistency. It's nice and creamy, and we're ready to scrape this into the jar. Awesome. Stuff smells so good. Okay, so there you go. There's your finished utter butter. You can just about use this on anything you want to.